the Thursday Walkthrough brought to you by Carl, the official health care provider of Fighting Illini Athletics. Welcome back to the Thursday Walkthrough. Martin O'Donnell here again with Coach Lovey Smith. And Coach, good to sit here after a, a Big Ten win. And so we sat, talked a lot last week about the bye week, what you hope to accomplish coming off of that. In general, how do you feel about the team coming off of the bye and coming out and playing like that on Saturday? Martin, feel in general really like what we're able to accomplish during the bye week. Um, first off, we wanted to heal up a little bit. We got A.J. Bush back. We got Jamal Milan back. Those were two big pieces, of course, to get back. Uh, we evaluated uh, what we've done so far, changes we needed to make, whether that be scheme or personnel. Uh, Personnel-wise, you know, we shuffle our secondary around. Um, uh, you know, Cam Watkins from corner to nickel, Tony Adams from corner to free safety, uh, Sidney Brown from nickel to strong safety. Love what we're able to get from them uh, this Rutgers game. So overall, with what we wanted to do and then just kind of tighten up our scheme, we we're able to get accomplished. Well, let's dive in a little bit about some of that shuffling in the defensive backfield. And I think a lot of people hear terms, you know, safety and corner and nickel, but maybe don't have a full comprehension about how different those positions can be. So, you know, what are some of the things that when you have a player moving from corner to safety like Tony Adams did, what are some of the things at that safety position that are going to be different for him that, that a player is going to have to really adjust to? Well, on what we're, first off, what we're looking for is a free safety position. Uh, we say free safety, a lot of times he's just that. Things go wrong, uh, a run breaks, he needs to be our last wave of defense to be able to get guys down. Doing pass, we want a guy that has ball skills. As a cornerback, Tony Adams, of course, as a corner, that's what he's used to doing, is uh, playing the ball from the cornerback position. Also, what you like to do at the free safety position is you know, when teams, nowadays teams are going more and more four and even five receiver sets, mm -hmm. uh, most of the time you have to substitute. But the way we have our personnel set up right now, don't really have to do that as much. So because Tony Adams can go and guard a receiver just like he did at the corner position. That's also the case with Sidney Brown. You know, in the safety position, he was playing nickel. What he's been doing is guarding wide receivers. So now when Sidney Brown is in a man-to-man a -man situation, on a tight end, we should have a great matchup that way. Sydney can also cover a wide receiver too, so it gives us a lot more flexibility with what we can do back there. Yeah, and both of those guys made a few plays there at the, at the safety position uh, last week. Absolutely, we wanted, uh, Sydney is an aggressive player, he can tackle. Tony didn't, wasn't able to intercept the ball, but he was in position, excited about seeing week two with these guys. Well, let's talk a little bit about the difference between corner and nickel. And, you know, moving some guys around there, Cam Watkins bumped in a little bit to play some nickel. How is that position different than just kind of your standard corner? Corner as a whole, it's going to pretty much just play in one position. You all receiver, you know, you're going to line up on number one receiver. So you're seeing everything from a little different position. Uh, we don't blitz our corners an awful lot. The nickel position, normally he'll take the – you know, now there's a lot of three wide receiver sets. So our nickel is still playing a wide receiver, but he's just going to play a, a guy in the slot. Mm -hmm. So he's got a lot more space he's having to deal with. And in our position, we also, though, would blitz our nickel, uh, w which we did a couple times the other day. So nickel is really kind of a cross between corner, linebacker, and safety. So you're looking at a, a certain type of athlete. Cam Watkins can feel that because he's a really aggressive, tough player that likes to play the run, too. Yeah, well, and that, that seems to be one of the clear things as well, as you bring him closer to the action, that nickel's going to have to be there in run support. He will have to be there in run support, and that is the case with us. It's also a position that seems to be at the center of the point of attack a little bit more. So you need your playmakers there, and we feel like we have that. Well, and another really successful day running the ball, 330 yards. That's the most we've run the ball in a Big Ten game for, for a long time. And obviously, you know, Mike Epstein, Reggie Corbin, A.J. Bush having a lot of success out there running the ball. But, you know, in order to make those big plays happen, obviously the offensive line has to, has to play a part in that. And I think they've certainly really upped their game uh, so far uh, to this point of this year. But in order to get those really explosive runs, have to get the downfield blocking. I mean, it's really fun. It has to be rewarding to watch that film and see guys hustling and really making those blocks within the rules, obviously, downfield. Yes, as you mentioned, offensive line did a good job, especially Nick Algrady played his best game. But 
in order to have explosive plays, once you get that second level, it's about wide receivers blocking down, down the field. Our guys, our guys do a great job of that. And they just know in our offense in general, it's just not about catching passes as a wide receiver. Your blocking ability is just as important. And it's rewarding for them when they see, uh, like, you know, Saturday against Rutgers, A.J. Bush, Mike Epstein, of course, Reggie Corbin going for long runs. That's based on how we're blocking downfield. Well, and something you don't see all that often, A.J. Bush was kind of leading one of the flotillas at one point. Yeah, that's not uh, an ideal world to have your quarterback blocking. But when you're a competitor out there and, you know, quarterback each play is trying to do whatever it takes to have a successful play. And some of those situations just end up where A.J. was there to kind of shield guys a little bit, and he was able to do that. Yeah, you don't want him cracking back on anybody or anything We won't like be cracking. Yeah. He'll get in front of the guys, but uh, <laughs> he has to be smart about everything. You know, quarterback, you, it's always about decisions that you make, and uh, A.J. made the right decisions most of the day. Well, and, and this week, a big game, homecoming, obviously, a trophy game, playing against Purdue. What are some of the points of emphasis going into the game this week? Well, uh, you know, homecoming number one, it's always special. You know, when you think about long after we're gone, we remember homecoming. And then we noted a lot of people that love the university are coming back, so we want to show them exactly how far we've come with our program. But uh, then it gets back to the game in itself. And for us, we have an opportunity to, to be over 500 in Big Ten play. That's big for us. We haven't been in this position, you know, since we've been here. So just the magnitude of how big the game is in itself. Last year against Purdue, we played them tough. It's a hard fall game right up until the end. They're better. We're better. Can't wait to get it started. Yeah, should be a lot of fun, and it should be a great crowd here on Saturday. You know, talking about homecoming, it kind of brings you back, you know, to, to maybe high school a little bit and, you know, you being in Big Sandy. Did you go to all the, the school dances back then? You know, in Big Sandy, I didn't know that there was such thing as a homecoming dance until I got to college. Uh, so small schools, no. Homecoming was really big. The dance part wasn't a part of it. I got to, got to college, of course, especially, you know, my senior year. I had already met my wife-to-be, so homecoming became a little bit different then with her. You a big dancer? I mean, what's, what's the go-to move? It's funny, you, it's, it's funny you would say that. You would assume that I'm, an, I'm a, a dancer. Big time. But uh, I, I don't at all. I don't sing. I don't dance. Never. I've never. I'm not on record of dancing or singing. I love music, though, and I like watching people dance. You know, you're not going to put yourself in a situation that's not successful. So, I, you know, that's... You got to know your strengths. You got to know your weaknesses and, uh, and kind of lean on that. Uh, dancing is not one of my strengths. Appreciating the arts. That's good. Absolutely. Well, Coach, thank you for your time, and thanks for stopping by the Thursday Walkthrough. The Thursday Walkthrough brought to you by Carl, the official health care provider of Fighting Illini Athletics. Looking for a card that gives you more? Illini Visa Rewards Card. Earn points every day to fly any airline, anytime, no blackout dates. The Illini Visa Rewards Card. Available only through U of I Community Credit Union.